Control, this is Omega Lead. We're in the pass. Roger, Omega Lead. Forward has the convoy's last position at Nav Alpha. They'll be moving through the pass somewhere beyond that. You'll need to move fast to catch up. Once you intercept them, destroy the escorts to force a surrender. Hold position once you get them stopped, and we'll get teams in there to recover the gear. Luck. Affirmative. Sensors online. Yeah, Mark let's do this. Online. Right, All functioning systems nominal. Alright, uh, where are we supposed to go? Nav Point Alpha, I'm guessing? Alright, let's go this way. Uh, it's up a mountain. I think a nightshade is a, a helicopter. Whatever, I don't even care. Dude, I have to say though that the walking animation looks so cool. Like how it just kind of like bobs up and down. Oh man, it's so sweet. I think he's just fucking off somewhere, so I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, it's a jet! That's right. And I think uh, the whole thing with the convoy is um, we're actually on its path right now. Okay, here we go. Cougar and a bulldog. Car and cargo vehicles. Alright. Well, let's go lock on. I have fucking 40 missiles now. This is gonna be totally awesome. What the hell? Why aren't they following me? Well, I guess this is now single player. Well, sort of was single player to begin with. Shut up. Damn it. What's this guy over there? It's the nightshade again. Alright. This is gonna be a bit interesting. Because I didn't want to really get this close to them, but I don't really have a choice. Yeah, my allies are derping as hell. Do you see them? They're still at the start. Whoops. We'll just we'll just attack from above. I mean, it's it's what I excel at, so. I'm just spraying him down with fucking tons of missiles. Yeah, yeah, stand there, stand there. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh god. Come on, lock on, lock on, lock on. There you go. Oh wait, I think uh, the convoy got hit a little bit. Dude, he's, he's so depressed. I say we ignore these guys and stay on the convoy. They're just trying to delay it. Uh, well, I don't really see a real point. Come on, lock on. There you go, he's dead. He should be dead. I think he's dead. No, he's not. Oh, great. Target destroyed. Okay, who's next on the list? Uh, well, there's that guy, which I probably should take out. Vulture? Wow, I'm surprised he didn't miss me some more. I don't think that uh, other mech has gotten close to me. Well, that may, that may not be the case. Damn it, go, lock on. There we go. It's fun because I can just go up here and, and I don't have to worry about it. Unfortunately, my allies are never going to catch up with me, it seems. Oh, wait, no, there they are. Speak of the devil. There we go. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, the cougar. Cause we can just catch up with the convoy. Damage critical. Oh dear god. Oh, wow. Am I being hit by something nearby? Wow, do you see how he got knocked down? knocked his ass down? Yeah, that's a knockdown thing. There's actually a lot of things like here. Let me show you this. Target Crouching. Destroyed. Yeah, Target you can destroyed. Guess hump stuff. Alright, well, are you now all forming up on me? Well, this should be relatively easy to catch up, uh, but, yeah, my center torso isn't doing too well. But literally, that's that's the only thing we have left to kill, I think. Uh, destroy all Steiner forces. How's that secondary? Isn't that technically destroying the guards? Whatevers. Maybe there's, like, more that, that come in. And they yeah, you know, they just can't traverse mountainous terrain. They really can't. So my allies are completely useless. 
I don't know, it's one of those, it's one of those age-old pathing issues. Because, you know, there's like mountains like this. And they'll get stuck out over here or something, and then I'm just going to go, okay, derp, 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 where, I, where do I go? I doubt I can, oh, nope, can't climb that. Alright, I'm just going to go around this thing. Wow, look at my speed, it's 113. I thought my mech only supported so much. Yeah, I'm just going to go around this entire mountain side. Makes me upset, but, you know, what can you do? Not much. Yeah, I, I guess it's a good thing that my allies are not with me, because I think they would attack the, the complete the convoy, because I'm supposed to overtake them. Alright. We're almost there. There you go. And we just fire a bunch of missiles at him. And I miss all every single one of them. It's a fucking vehicle. How evasive can it possibly be? This useless locking on. There we go. Contact finally. Your convoy. Your escorts have been destroyed. Stop immediately and shut down your engines, or we'll turn you into scrap. You do it, boys. Take it from me. He's definitely stressed out. They need to move out too. Thanks a lot, Jules. Hey, it worked, didn't it? Control, this is Omega Lead. We've got the convoy shut down and the area looks secure. Roger, Omega. Hold the convoy there for now. Once the salvage teams secure the area, I'll signal to return to base. Support, upload nav Omega and move in. Support is rolling. Roger, Control. We'll hold here. I don't think these guys will give us any problems. I would imagine not. Good work. I'm being Control shot out. <laughs> Whatever. I hope I didn't lose the catapult in the cutscene or some bullshit. I'm like literally just standing there and taking bullets to the face. I'm the manliest mech ever. Yeah, it's just damage, it's fine. Ooh, ERPPCs. Very nice. We intercepted a communication between Lord Roland and Major Castro. I'll forward what we have. Information about that dropship. I made promises, Vonda. I also know you downplayed your losses on the moon in your latest report to the Archons. Well, with Peter Dressari dead, I at least get some compensation for the loss of my satellite facility. Losing that facility makes it that much harder to track the Dressari forces. And the fact that it was attacked after Sir Peter's death indicates that someone else is carrying on. I respectfully suggest that you stop underestimating the threat of insurrection, Lord Roland. Good work, young Duke. The convoy was carrying a large cache of supplies that we can use in our attack. Most significantly, mobile artillery. The crews are getting the guns set up within range of the dropship repair encampment. If you mount an artillery targeting site on your mech when you engage, you can use the guns to help you destroy the dropship. I used artillery strikes to neutralize targets on Fort Arthur. I'll keep that in mind. That ship may still have operational weapons. If so, they'll try to get them online as soon as they realize you're inbound. So don't get too close. Remember, it's a big target. Load up on long-range weapons and stay the hell away from it. Commander. Yes, Jules. I want to mention I've had a lot of training in night fighting. I think it would be the right approach for our situation. I don't disagree, but what's your reason? Well, beyond less heat buildup, any time we're walking into a situation where the enemy outnumbers us, night gives us the edge. Few of their units will be used to night fighting. Detection ranges will be shorter, and they'll have a lot harder time targeting. Beyond that, we can use the cover of night to retreat, if necessary. Also, I think the rest of the team needs all the night fighting experience they can get. Good points, Jules. I'll think it over. And if we get into any situations that require night fighting, I'll keep your skills in mind. Thank you, Commander. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, maybe we will. But anyways, um, so we have an artillery strike right here. Might use that. Eh. Tough decisions. And the less less heat buildup actually sounds kind of nice. Uh, so artillery beacon right here. Uh, so we get two of these. Uh, I'd probably want four. Alright, well, we'll give that a try. What's the range on this? 
360, you gotta get rather close to this. Alright, and light amplification. Actually, I'm gonna give all of them, our mechs, I think, light amplification. It just seems like a good idea to me. Uh, Clan LRM 15. Oh wow, could have 15 in here. I kinda wanna toss one in. Uh, I can look, take some away. Take some away from that. And I would actually kind of like to have a little bit more. Maybe. Nah, I want the Beagle active. Nope, just take away one heat sink then. LRM 15. There we go. That is nice. That is very nice. Tons of artillery weapons. Uh. And I think the rest of these are kind of garbage. Oh wait, um, uh, Tillery Beacon. Let's put this over there and the Tillery Beacon will be the last slot. Yeah, this one's... Well, it's actually not that bad, this one. Oh, this guy has good machine guns. I'm gonna give that to, uh, Thing. Because I, I, I really do like it when they run around with one of these things. Still goes 24 damage, although it's not clan, what, clan stuff. I want more clan things. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna actually give, I think, medium range missiles. There's like 40 of these. It's it's great. I don't know about this though. Ah. I would have wanted actually a clan design of that. Other than that, I'll probably just you know I'll probably just give like some. Your lasers or something. Ah, fuck it. Let's give. Let's just give him that. I mean, there's like absolutely no heat buildup, which is kind of the nice part. And maybe just two lasers. Look, you got two lasers. Aren't you happy? Oh, I was gonna give a light amplification too. I'll just give it with that. Actually, maybe I lower the speed. Nah. There you go. Maximum armor. There we go. Uh, whoops. Doesn't. It doesn't quite like even it out. It's kind of strange. Uh, medium range and that thing. Excellent. All right. The last one is. I think I was using. Uh, uh, oh, bushwalker. That's right. All right. And I'll just probably take out this. Or maybe just lower it. No, I have. I've already lowered the heatsink. Light amplification for you as well. Okay, we all get it now. And you can go have. You see, her gunnery skills have actually gotten better because we've done uh, missions like that, like with the uh, like more gunning. The more you use them, the better they get. All right, nighttime. Control, we're on the perimeter. Roger, Omega lead. We have Foxtrot 09 moving into position for recon. Artillery is standing by. Dropship location is to the northeast. We don't know repair status on the dropship, so just like on the moon, try to take it out before we can power up. All groups report. Artillery is locked and loaded. Give us a target and we're ready to fire. Over. Rescue recovery standing by at four clicks. Over. Salvage standing by. Over. This is Foxtrot 09. We've sighted the dropship. Just follow the big skid marks in. They have multiple crews working on the bird. Looks pretty close to airworthy. We have a mixed lance of medium and light mechs providing cover. Various other arm units moving around down here too. No sign they know we're here. Over. Okay team, let's take out that dropship. If Steiner was wondering where we might hit next, I guess they'll know shortly. Sensors online. Weapons systems online. All functioning systems nominal. Where do I go? I guess just straight. Fi oh, you have to find it, that's why. It doesn't actually tell you. So, um, I can't zoom in unless I go out of light amplification mode. Uh, I just noticed. I didn't actually realize this. Which is not difficult, per se. But if I turn off the headlights, then it's actually much better, in a way. But, you know. The, the reduced heat buildup is actually quite nice. Uh, Attack my target. Roger. Uh, Roger. Alright. It's actually not that dark, so we're okay. No. Come on, lock. Lock on. 
No lock? There we go, come on. Give me a lock. I'm just looking at him through a tree. I can't unfortunately follow him too well. Come on, lock. There we go. Let's get go straight through the trees though. There we go. Very nice. So he's like, what the fuck just hit me? Control, we just got hit with an active sensor. They know we're here. We gotta do this quick before they get that dropship powered up. Oh, we're supposed to avoid patrols? Oh, he's about to get raped, so it's okay. I'm not too concerned. Target is destroyed. terminated. Target's destroyed. This is actually quite Omega. cool. I'm picking up some EM interference. They must be powering up the dropship systems. Be careful. Form up on me. Roger. Uh, Roger. Unfortunately, I gotta I gotta get close to the dropship uh, in order to do anything with it. And I have now realized that I probably should have avoided um, attacking it. Alright, uh... Yeah, look, good thing I have like a high sensor uh, radius, I swear. This is probably going to take a while. Uh, you know, I imagine it would be down in, in the valley here, or where the fucking bulldog is. Yeah, I would think it's over there. Mobile APU. Wow, that would definitely be it. I want them to kind of go ahead of me. Roger. Roger. I did tell him to. Oh. Roger. Uh, Roger. There you go. Looks like a supply cache on the port side of the ship. We might get some good salvage out of this if artillery doesn't drop a shell on it. Artillery here confirmed. Enemy don't paint it if we don't hit it. Alright, uh, how far are we? Uh, I need to get within 300 meters. Whoa. No. Please and thank you. Tell your strike is almost ready. I'll just fucking paint one over there. And I think we're ready. Oh dear god. Mobile APU, I'll just paint this one as well. Oh, there we go. It's actually Animation quite nice. Depleted. Okay, well, I think we're in good shape. Damn it. Fuck these things. Get out of my way. You know what? I'm just gonna go this way. I just noticed that uh, firing off uh, all these LRMs is causing the light problem for me. And he's not quite booted up yet, so I can, I can take him out before uh, anything, anything problematic happens. <laughs> just goes really bright. Oh shit. There we go. I won't be it won't be an issue with right. heat. Okay, the artillery strike was kind of shitty, I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, it, it, given the amount of fucking guns I have, it's unnecessary. A solid operation, Commander. Oh, dear God. Here's the tactical upload on our next op. The Hadra Peninsula was home to many of your family's military facilities. When Steiner attacked, they seized them to use as staging bases. Many of your father's troops evaded capture and, with Peter's help, formed the core of a guerrilla force. They've reclaimed several abandoned fire bases and are using them to stage their operations. But they'll need our help. We'll weaken the local defenses and help the resistance liberate needed equipment and ultimately personnel. Personnel? We know that Steiner shipped many of your father's elite troops to a prison camp somewhere in the region. If we can find the camp and liberate the prisoners, they could provide the manpower and the expertise the resistance needs to carry the fight to the rest of Cantaris. Our first mission will be to raid a major Steiner supply base. Resistance forces will arrange distraction so we can storm the base and liberate supplies. 
The base is well defended, but there's a lot of equipment there that we and the Resistance need. The mission's a hot drop. We don't want to risk losing surprise. I'll get us set up. And I'll start my search for that prison camp. The Resistance lives. Despite Steiner boasts, Resistance forces still loyal to the memory of Duke Eric have won small victories in several Kentari cities and scored a major success in the Olympian reaches. There, Resistance forces overcame Steiner patrols and destroyed a military dropship, severely weakening the Steiner occupation. There are reports that members of Duke Eric's family have survived and are leading the attacks that are tearing down Lord Roland's wall of lies. He will not be able to hide behind it much longer. Listen and spread the word. <laughs>